Okay, let's take a look at this. So I've got this board. I've got my 120 volt coming in. Remember, this is just a demonstration board. This is not going to operate anything right now. I have several other things here that I want to bring up to you later on. And we'll do that in future videos. But anyway, this is my power source coming in, 120 volts. It'll come down, feed the uh, DC power supply. Everything in here is 24 volts. And basically what I've got is um, I've got a 24 volt power going through my EM, through my stop, and then a momentary contact start. I also have this red light will be tied in basically line and load just to demonstrate that. And then one of the things that we got on the 24 volt going through here is we have a trip. So in case, um, you know, something trips on this overload relay, then it'll actually cut the power to the coil. When you hit the momentary start, it'll pull in the contactor and through the normally open contacts on this side, once that comes in, it'll energize this side. It'll come up and it'll energize that coil. The blue wire is the uh, zero or the negative. And I've got everything lined up down here in my um, terminal blocks for my different colors of the, the light up here. So let's turn this on and check it out. Right now, nothing happens. I hit the start. It holds in, it sends power down through, comes down through here, back up to the light. Now, if I have an overload on this, if you have a motor or whatever, you have an overload on it, that's just the test button, it kicks it off. So, it automatically resets. So, I turn it back on, and then I hit the stop button, shuts off, momentary contact, this is a normally closed contact. That's normally closed contact. So the power goes through. Momentary contact on that. Comes up. Feeds this. Goes back through and hits that coil. This is a normally open contact. So emergency stop. Shuts it off.